To install Google Chrome on Windows 11 and make it the default browser, start by opening up Microsoft Edge or any other browser on your system. And go to google.com. Now, once you're on Google, type the word Chrome and you should see a download now option. Make sure that it is google.com that the download now option is offered from. And you'll come to this page where you can click on download Chrome. And we'll just maximize Edge here. Downloads in Edge show up under this arrow in the upper right hand corner. Now sometimes that arrow disappears. If that happens, click on these three dots and then click on Downloads, and you'll see it again. When Chrome Setup.exe is ready, you'll see the open file link. Go ahead and click on that, and then click Yes to allow the setup to make changes to your computer. When it starts running, you can go ahead and close Edge so that it doesn't distract you, and allow the installation to complete. It doesn't take too long for this at least on a fairly modern performant computer. Now here's Google Chrome loading up for the first time. I'm just going to click don't sign in at the moment. That can always be done later. And I'm not going to click on set as default here because it doesn't always work from here. So I'm going to skip that part. Right, we can scroll down and say got it and you're now running Chrome. So let's close that for the moment and we're going to click on the start button and type in the word default. You can just start typing and ultimately you'll see default apps show up. So click on default apps and then where it says search apps type in Chrome and you'll see Google Chrome Click on the little arrow on the right, and we can click on Set Default. Now, if you get a warning in the lower right-hand corner that there was an error setting the default, you can go to whichever particular bit it was that didn't change to Chrome, choose Chrome, and choose Set Default, and doing that manually should work. Now, this button here just sets the very basic defaults for web pages to Google Chrome, but say here in this case PDFs are still going to be opened in Microsoft Edge. If you just don't want to be dealing with Microsoft Edge or any other browser and you just want Google Chrome to come up because it's what you're familiar with, go ahead and click on each of the ones that has something else on it. And in this case we're going to have to say switch anyway as Microsoft tries to convince us not to switch and click on Google Chrome and click on set default. Now you can do that with every extension that Google Chrome supports. And you know, uh, do look at the extensions. If you're not sure what they are, you go ahead and switch them. If you know what they are and know what you want other than Google Chrome to use to open it. You can tweak that right there too. You know, for example, if you use the Windows Mail program, you might want to leave the Mail 2 program set to Mail, right? And I'll go down. I wouldn't bother with the rest of these and close that setting. You can go back in if you've just installed Chrome, you can see it under recommended and you can say pin to start and then you can also say pin to taskbar all right we can click on it the icon in the taskbar and google chrome opens now it is installed and it is your default browser